Good evening, everyone. I'm a little slow this evening. I didn't see the thumbs up, so. Um, welcome to the Board of Selectmen's November 2nd meeting. We did have a change from the agenda we posted earlier. Is that correct? Um, for those of you that were, were expecting um, Blue Wave to be in here, t we, um, they, they, they decided that executing those agreements were a little premature today. We've made a lot of really good progress. Um, we're, there are a lot of parties working on them and some of the parties did not have documents to Blue Wave in time. So we are on track um, for our November 17th meeting. It's been a great process. Blue Wave um, this afternoon at about 3 o'clock thought it was just a little bit premature for us to, to, talk, to, to, to present all the terms of the agreements. So please tune in next week. On our agenda today is um, to discuss the proposed regulation for banning commercial haulers. And just as a step back in time, in our, I believe it was our October 6th meeting, uh, the Recycling Committee the, and the Board of Health were here. And to discuss some draft regulations that I know certain members of the Recycling Committee spent a lot of time working on with some input from the Board of Health. At that point, we were not able to discuss those in a lot of detail, having just received a memorandum from legal counsel on providing us with somewhat of an opinion on whether, whether those regs were good for the town of Dover and which ones of those regs we should adopt and which we shouldn't. Um, and so we tabled it for a little while, but the outcome of that meeting was not to look at the regs as a whole, but to kind of focus on, and I believe it was your comment, Carol, to focus on buckets rather than everything as a whole. And we determined that two buckets were ones that we should address immediately. The one bucket was the commercial hauler ban, and the second bucket was pay as you throw. And I think we also determined that pay as you throw would be a separate warrant article and we've already put in motion meetings through the end of the year for all of us to learn about the program, the economics of the program, um, what, why the recycling committee is making the recommendation to the town to, to adopt this program. And you know, all citizens of Dover, we have not adopted the pay as you throw. We are starting the process of looking at it. We have external consultants coming in to provide us with data. And there will be an opportunity for everybody to give us um, their point of view in open hearings, which we will have at the beginning of the year. And that it may go on to a warrant article. I believe we already made that determination right. so that it will be a warrant it'll article. Be up to the town's ultimately to decide. Right. But to this this evening we do have what I believe is a draft regulation, but not something that we're going to approve this evening because there's a regulatory process that we need to go through. This is this is something I've learned from town government. Um, so we do have a, um, a draft regulation um, in which we are um, contemplating banning commercial haulers from, from, the, from the transfer station. I believe this is something that Mr. Hughes um, has communicated to us that, that is probably a best practice. We are one of the few towns that do provide for commercial callers. And um, so, Mr. Ramsey, do you want to talk about the process to move forward to, to adopt these draft regulations? 
Certainly, Madam Chair. So because it's not a bylaw or a statutory thing, it's simply a Board of Selectmen regulation. It requires notice of intent tonight if the Board decides to proceed. And then at the next meeting, discuss, take public input on the proposed regulation, and then make a decision subsequent to that. All right. So that, that being said, I, I think that this mm -hmm. is um, something that we should you know, move forward. With. Right. I think it's a. I think it's a very good idea. Right. So then, I would like to make a motion. Do I make a motion mm -hmm. to? Um, so I'm not adopting these regulations, but I'm making a motion of the intent mm -hmm. of the board of selectmen mm -hmm. at our next meeting to adopt the regulations to ban commercial haulers at the um, transfer station. Mm -hmm. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, so then the next meeting is, uh, if, 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 if there are comments, we will listen to those. Mm -hmm. if, if not, we would be in a position to, um, to, to vote to approve this regulation. And if it pleases the board, I'd be happy to invite the sole commercial hauler who, is, who would be affected by these regulations mm -hmm. to come. And I may note, um, as you recall from the memo concerning the broader draft regulations, Council's advice was, since there is overlapping jurisdiction between the Board of Selectmen and the Board of Health, that her advice is that the Board of Health also adopt mm -hmm. this regulation at some point prior to its effective date. In that regard, uh, the Board of Health uh, is not opposed to this. Uh, we would look at it as, in fact, as we understand the Commonwealth of Massachusetts regulations with regard to solid waste, the transfer station is essentially a third party operation. That is, the town has hired the street department to operate it as if it were any other entity. And therefore, within it's certainly within the Board of Selectmen's purview to issue whatever regulations they wish, such as this. Uh, the Board of Health um, is not in disagreement. We would simply point out that we would not want to do anything that makes it more difficult for residents of the town of Dover uh, to deal with solid waste. Noting that the town of Sherborne uh, does have arrangements with several private concerns, including one residential firm within the town, and of course charges. And the town of Needham charges commercial haulers, allows them, but has explicit fees. We recognize that Dover's transfer station is on a much smaller scale. And within the confines of the resources that are available, it probably is not sustainable to create a fee structure and receive solid waste from commercial haulers. Mm -hmm. You know, and again, I this this regulation would not be putting anybody at harm, the, any citizen of Dover at harm. It should have very little impact on their ability to dispose of commercial waste. If they use a private hauler, that private hauler will do with the waste that they collect in Dover what they do with waste they collect from all other towns. What, so, what, what so, I did discover in a meeting at the Department of Environmental with commercial haulers was that many towns uh, are doing this and many of the commercial haulers are having to do such as the town itself does haul to Auburn, haul to Saugus, there are many such locations. In fact, waste management who hauls trash from Dover does not take it to the transfer station but takes it out of town also. Right, so you know again and this and legal counsel confirms exactly what you said. This is, so, so to speak, a best practice. It's the practice that all other towns uh, follow. And, you know, we have had numerous, or not we, but the, the um, Mr. Hughes has had, and the Recycling Committee has had, has had conversations with this commercial hauler. And, you know, ev everybody understands that this is, this is the way you have to do business. So. I was also going to make one other point that came up in another meeting in town, and that was the concern that if there were people who were residents of Dover um, whose 
refuse was going to be delivered to other towns, were we in some way shirking our responsibility as a town? I think there was concern about that. And what I was um, reassured is that, no, as a matter of fact, the hauler would, would simply increase his fees proportionate to cover the charge that would be incurred by dumping at another site. So that there is a sense of equity in that. And I think that that's an important question. Again, I, I point out to you that many towns right. have commercial haulers who haul trash and recycle mm -hmm. materials to a third party dump site or uh, disposal site. And this is not at all uncommon. Mm -hmm. And indeed, the rate structure that is charged is going to be dependent. We don't know what that rate structure is going to be because DEP is redrafting their, their proposed regulation on exactly this matter. Excellent. Okay. Well, I think we're all in Sorry. agreement. This, you know, we have moved with our intent to adopt this new regulation. Right. It, it, based upon everything we've all said, mm -hmm. it's just been duplicative somewhat. It will not harm, harm the citizens of Dover. And um, I, I would also like to say once again is I would like to thank you know Chris Paulson and I know Mr. Clark you spent some time on, on, on all especially Chris all the time and effort he put into putting the regulations together um, we will we will um, once this is approved we will go and, and review legal response and then at some point sit down with with Mr. Polson and, and and go and go over you know our take on those regulations so thank you again and I apologize for putting this somewhat on the back burner for 30 days but the blue wave um, activity got the better of me and they're not even here today to prove it so but it will it will happen in about two weeks so thank you everyone Next on the agenda is another recycling item, and it's a very impressive flyer. Great to see on glossy paper. Oh, yeah. I, I do like the colors. Um, and it's, um, so would you like to speak yeah. to this, Ms. Lizzie? Sure. So um, um, as the recycling committee started the process of looking at updating regulations, we discovered that not only were there regulations I did like basically um, 30 years, but that the, um, the available information to the citizens of Dover on how the transfer station operates, so how they have citizens take care of the trash and their recyclables and their um, debris, um, was, was really uh, woefully uh, sh uh, short as well. So the committee work, um, Chris, uh, one of work that he does on every day, uh, did the initial draft of that, and it's been fine-tuned gone through several versions. Um, it's been checked with Craig um, and with, with, uh, with Mike and Wade at the transfer station. So the whole, the whole group there has, has looked at it and guys had their chance multiple times to, um, to fine tune it. And um, what it represents is what citizens need to know on how, on what to do with all the stuff that they want to get out of the property. Right. Everything from, you know, deposit cans to all the plastics to no mattresses, no this, no that, yes this, yes that, put this there, put that there, and so forth. So um, it's really a, a, an operational brochure that's just meant to educate and, and it was designed in a way that folks can you know, stick it on a door or you know, mm -hmm. uh, keep it in a drawer so they can quickly check things when they've got stuff that they're cleaning up. I think, you know, I think this is something that should get sent out periodically because you do, you do forget. Well, yeah, but so it's, it's a nice reminder, it's concise. It, the blue catches your eye on, on, on the area that it's addressing. So our intent is to uh, come back to not only to approve this, but to um, approve setting it out in the cash bills that will be going out in late December. Uh, they will also be sent out as, as we do now, but we'll send this out now um, with the letter that we send to all new residents. Okay. Uh, which we get from the account clerk on a regular basis. Um, we also will have uh, several hundred copies printed to be at the highway department, put some in the town clerk's office, and to have up at the transfer station that we might can hand out to the residents or people that come to us there. I think, I think that's a wonderful nice. initiative, and I really support this initiative. Do you need a vote for us? So I make a motion to approve 
the, um, the flyer as prepared by the recycling committee to be put into tax bills going out in December. Great. Thank you very much. Second. All in favor? Aye. Yeah. Carol, this is this is great. Yeah, it is. I will pass it along to the second day that uh, Gavin has to speak. Wonderful. Yeah, it's if you compare that to the us. one that's on the website for the Medfield transfer station, yeah. this one is so much more complete and clearer. Right. And I learned I something. Read that on this on the website as well. Right. And I felt I learned something new. No wrapping paper in trash. That's right. I or, did not, or styrofoam. I did not know that. I knew about the styrofoam. So, and with the holidays coming up, you know, Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, no wrapping paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to your committee. Good night. Okay. The next item is. The, That's all right. Mine, the next line is hers. Well, I do, need a do I need to use my gavel? We'll provide it for you. Excuse me. <laughs> That's my fault, Madam Chair. Mr. Clark. I've been dying to use it. Where is it? <laughs> Thank you. I'll bring this up to you. Mr. Next Clark, week. next okay, meeting, I'm going to have my Thank gavel you. right here. Thank you. And we'll vote on it in two weeks. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so the next item of business is the um, town report guidelines. Who's speaking to this? I hope you're not looking at me. I can. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. So once again, uh, it's the beginning of November. It seems like yesterday. It, it, it sure does. It sure does. Um, the um, town report process is being launched by the Board of Selectmen this evening um, for the 2016 version. Um, this is the reports of all of the various town offices, boards, committees, and schools on um, activities of interest to the residents that occurred in uh, calendar year 2016. So we are asking the board's permission to um, send this out tomorrow. Um, to all of those town officials who need notification to be followed um, on, on November 7th uh, by the town report committee with actual guidelines and a template, their, their report from last year mm -hmm. to use. Mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. helpful. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Yes, it gets very specific mm -hmm. about formatting and grammar and, and so forth. So um, people could just adhere to their guidelines and uh, submit the reports to them in January. I, I don't recall, is the due date the 14th? The 13th. The 13th is? Okay, yes. the 13th yes. of January. That would be very helpful because they have lots of work to do upon receipt of those reports. Okay. So, um, once again, thank you to the um, Town Report Committee. And do we need a motion for this? Um, so I certainly approve sending. Yes. Sending. Right. Yeah, we will get that out. Right. Okay. okay. Thank you. Oh, this is another another sign that the year is coming to an end. <laughs> <laughs> the holidays the creep department. up very quickly. The yeah. Police department. Right. No, oh, I, I right. I checked off. I'm I'm moving right ahead. Okay. <laughs> well, I. Uh, I'm going just back, you. back <laughs> every meeting I do this. One meeting I'm going to get this right. So next we have accounting charge-offs and uncollectibles by the police department. And who is going to give us some insight on this? Well, in the years where we have a whole bunch of them, I duck it and give it to Greer. But since this is a seminal year, we only have one bill. Oh, how back big from of you? 2013. I'll, I'll jump in here and just. Uh, point out to the board that this has plagued us on and off for years, the, the matter of police de detail billing and collections. And we are now at the point where we have one bill that is not collectible in our whole pipeline. And kudos to the town accountant, to the police chief for prioritizing this and for, to his uh, administrative assistant for tightening the system up and getting us to where we need to be now. So. Uh, I heartily endorse this recommendation to write this one off as uncollectible, and then hopefully we won't see another one for a bunch of years. Could I just ask for just a little bit of clarity on this? It, the idea is that um, 
there is no record. We show that we have not collected this money. But there is no record of it. We don't even show a record of it being billed out at the police department. They have a record over there of I it see. being billed. And we've had this disconnect off and on between accounting and police right. historically. Okay. And the good news is we don't have that disconnect anymore. Because I see this as four years ago, yes. right? Yep. It's only one. Right, and it's only one. So, so that's interesting. Okay. I, I think of interest to everybody watching this evening is that um, Chief, Chief McGowan in his memo um, states that the Dover Police Department annually bills on average in excess of $170,000 for details. Yeah. And it's an important function because under the law we have to pay our officers timely. So it's not like we bill and when we get paid the officer gets paid. We have to pay the officer irrespective of whether we get the receipt. So tightening this up is, uh, is, is great news. All right, so then I will make a motion to accept the recommendation of um, Police Chief McGowan and the town administrator and the town accountant to, um, to write off a bill for $344 that's deemed to be uncollectible from a charge from four years ago. Mm -hmm. I second. All in favor? Aye. All right. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, now to the item that makes the year go by fast. So I guess this <laughs> evening on the agenda, we would like to request that the Board of Selectmen vote early closing on the Friday before Christmas. Would you want to speak to that? Yes. I think it's been an ongoing. Yes, Ms. Hunter, yes. Okay. So the Friday um, before Christmas is actually the 23rd, but where Christmas Eve falls on the weekend, okay. we normally ask that um, we get it the preceding Friday. So rather than closing at 1 o'clock, we're asking uh, the board to consider closing the townhouse at noontime. Mm -hmm. And then we're, we're closed on Monday for Christmas, even though that's on Sunday. Right. Uh, and this year, New Year's Eve would not apply because typically, again, uh, that's on a weekend. And if we looked at the Friday, we don't get out till 3 o'clock anyway. So, the, you, you know, that's later than we would be getting out on Friday since we close at 1 noon. So, just for the. Okay, so, uh, you're requesting to stay until 3 o'clock? <laughs> 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 Perhaps I wasn't quite <laughs> clear about that, but yes. You yeah. set yourself up. I did. I <laughs> so, yeah, it, we're asking okay. for the uh, okay. to close at noon time. On so it's an the hour early. That's okay. correct. All right. So, um, you know, I certainly know how difficult it is, no matter how much planning you've done ahead of time. When the holiday arrives, it suddenly comes out of nowhere. So I do support that. I know people really appreciate getting an early start on it. So I would make a motion to um, to vote to close early Friday, the 23rd of December, which is the day before Christmas Eve. And we would, I'm making a motion to close at noon. Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you, the mm -hmm. employees appreciate that very much. It's the only thing they appreciate that we do do. So. <laughs> All right, and now we have some special licenses. Again, as I look through the special licenses, um, they've all been approved by Chief McGowan. And I will read them, and then uh, we can approve them all at once. So the first one is um, November the 4th. It's um, an event sponsored by the Charles River School, and it is at the Charles River School. The next one is November the 9th, a BC Management Development Program at the Connor Center. And then on November 18th, the second annual festival of wreaths at the Dover Church. Mm -hmm. So I would like to make a motion that we approve all special licenses, all three special licenses as as described earlier. Second. All in favor? Aye. All right. Mm -hmm.
you know, someday you're going to give us iPads and we're just going to like click on the stuff and our signature's going to come up and I won't get complaints about us rustling paper. <laughs> the next item on the agenda is um, the minutes from our meeting on October the 20th. I think that meeting was a little longer than this one. Not much. Not much. <laughs> and no, really not much. And on that meeting, we adopted the Green Communities Fuel Efficiency Vehicle Policy. Uh, we provided an update on Blue Wave, the solar array. We voted to return the C of A van to the MWRTA. Um, we voted to expend a grant um, that was applied for by the Recycling Committee and given to us by the DEP. We voted to attend the Mass Municipal Annual Meeting and Trade Show. And we also voted the Boston Region Metropolitan Planning Organization elections. Of course, we had some special licenses. And we voted to close early on Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And I had no changes to the minutes. Nor I. Okay. So um, once again, thank you. Mm -hmm. I would like to make a motion to um, to accept the minutes of our October twentieth meeting Second. as presented. Excuse me. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. All right. So now we have any citizen comments. Mr. Mm -hmm. Hone, nothing? Nothing. Okay. Um, do we want to go to this one? All right. Yeah, I think we're fine. Okay. Then without, with nothing more, I make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. Oh, to oh. remind people. Okay. And I haven't adjourned the meeting yet. One <laughs> reminder. <laughs> um, it's the general election on Tuesday, November 8th. So uh, those of you who haven't voted, I know we've, we've basically had record turnouts for, for early voting. Um, last I heard, we were up over 500 residents with, I believe, an additional 400 doing um, FCT ballots. Yeah, so it's, it's a lot of people. So I think it's... Thursday is the last day for early voting, is that correct? Or is that Friday. Right? Oh, Friday. Friday. Friday night. Till one. one. Right. The town, there are extended voting hours on Thursday um, until 8. I think Thursday is the last night. Is, is it tomorrow? I think it, this week it's this evening. Last week it was Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. This week it was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay, check the website before yes. you Yeah, <laughs> right. I'm not really sure. Okay. So with, um, with that, come on down and vote. Right. I would um, like to adjourn the meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. We're truly adjourned. Okay.